Last week we took a look at the extension methods in C-sharp. Today we'll continue looking at extension methods using VB.NET syntax. It's obvious by comparing the syntax in VB.NET to the syntax we used in C-sharp that either there was a strong disagreement as to how to implement extension methods syntactically or the language teams never talked to each other. The key difference between the implementation is that VB.NET requires you to place the method in a module and attribute the method as an extension method instead of just using syntax to get the job done like we did in C Sharp. So the first thing that we're going to require here is that we need to import a namespace. So we're going to import system dot The next thing we're going to need to do is come down here. I've already put the module in here. I've just created a module inside the same file. And in here, we can go in and create the uh, new method. So we're going to go ahead and create our string, string extender method just like we did last week. But the first thing we need to do is we need to attribute it with the extension attribute. Public function word count, pass in our string, and we're going to return an integer. And then here, we're going to do a split on our string just like we did last week. And we're going to return that value. So up here in our page load, we're going to come down here and go uh, dim string or and then we're going to call. word count off of string. And again, just like last week, when we bring up the IntelliSense for word count, you'll see, actually let's get this up a little bit higher where you can see it. You see that down arrow there means that we have an extension. Dim. Oh. Now we could obviously do this uh, with an interface just like we did last week. Uh, all we'd need to do is replace uh, the string parameter as an interface parameter just like we did last week and uh, we get the same thing. So let's go in here and just uh, just for kicks we'll go in here and create a, an interface and we're not going to give it any particular implementation we're just going to go in here and change the string to an interface type and since we don't have anything to really return here, we're just going to hard code it to 12. And we can go up here and dim sentence as I my interface. And now if we do sentence. You'll see that there's a word count hanging off of sentence again. Now we're getting squigglies here because I don't have anything initialized, but you get the basic idea. So now, you know, just like I said last week with the C sharp, and maybe you missed that because you're a VB guy. Uh, now we have the ability here uh, to actually provide implementations for our interfaces. Um, and that gives us essentially the ability 
to implement multiple inheritance like we were able to do in languages like C-sharp.